guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Cassie, if you're new here, and welcome to Cassie's Castle. So for today's video, we're going to be doing a December Disney purchase or pass. I know this isn't my usual setup, but honestly, it is so gloomy today that the lighting in that area is just really dark and so this is the best spot for me to film honestly filming in the winter is like the worst because you're just always battling lighting weather changes it's just too much first gonna sit over here hopefully you don't mind as always if there's something that you like that i don't like that doesn't mean you have bad taste it just means we have different tastes and that is okay last purchaser pass that we did we talked about this new peach collection that disney was releasing and we saw the lounge fly and we decided the lounge fly was not cute and i still agree that it's not cute i just saw they were it was released on shop disney and it's just not really my thing um but along with the lounge fly they did release a matching hat which once again not really my thing i am not into this color at all it honestly doesn't look peach to me like it looks more like a burnt orange kind of color so i'm not really not really into it it is like a holographic kind of vibe i i don't know i'm not into this so i'll be skipping over that there is also a matching spirit jersey and the spirit jersey i think is cute however i feel like they've done something like this before like i feel like they've done a peach spirit jersey that looks really similar to this or maybe it was like the rose gold one and that's what i'm confusing it with but yeah i'm not really a big spirit jersey person so it takes a lot for me to want to buy one and this one is just no exception i do not really like it i mean it's cute if you love spirit jerseys but i just would never wear it i think honestly the spirit jersey is the best part of this entire peach collection because the spirit jersey actually looks peach whereas the hat and the backpack just don't really look peach to me um i don't know something about those other items are just looking a little weird i haven't seen a photo of the ears so i'm actually curious if they even released ears i literally have not seen a single photo of them so i'm not entirely sure about that but hat spirit jersey lounge fly this entire collection is a pass for me um just right off the bat another spirit jersey that they came out with is the new lunar new year spirit jersey and this year it's the year of the dragon i personally like i said i don't really like spirit jerseys and i honestly don't ever really like the lunar new year merch because it's usually red and i don't really like red i am not really a fan of this particular design and i honestly feel like last year's spirit jersey for lunar Nero was a way cuter than this one so um yeah i'll be skipping over this um along with the spirit jersey they do have a new pair of ears coming out which the ears i also don't really like i think the ears that they came out two years ago were way better than this and i actually already own a pair of lunar new year ears and i love mine so much and i think they're the best lunar new year ears ever created so i am more than satisfied with my lunar new year ears and i do not need another pair there's also a mickey plush that we've seen and um he's wearing like a little dragon headband i think he's cute especially if you, you celebrate lunar new year um but once again i'll be skipping skipping over the entire the entire Lunar New Year collection. I also don't really celebrate Lunar New Year, so I feel like there's no like immediate pull to it. So I think that's definitely part of the reason why I'm not really into the merch. That is all of the Lunar New Year merch that we've seen so far, but I'm sure there's definitely going to be way more to come. Some other lounge flies that were released on Shop Disney, we have a new Stitch lounge fly, which there's actually a huge Stitch collection. I don't understand the Stitch hype. Like I... I love Lilo and Stitch. It's a great movie and I love watching it. Um, and I think they're really cute. I just don't understand the obsession with this character. Like, I know there's a huge Stitch audience. Anytime there's Stitch anything, like, people sell it out. Like, there's definitely a fandom there and I can respect it. But for me personally, like, I'm over the Stitch merge. Like, I've seen so, so much of it and I'm just like, can we get some princess merch please like that's all i want is princesses on everything anyways i will be skipping over this launch fly there is a matching wallet as well um another pass for me there is another stitch launch fly which has angel on it and what's so interesting about this is that it looks very like design wise it looks so similar to the one that i own um that i got from the parks a couple years ago for valentine's day the colors are definitely way more vibrant and not my vibe i definitely like mine a lot more because it's more pastel this one is like really bold like bright pink bright 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 blue um so not really my style but i just think like the all over print is just very similar to 
that other <laughs> lounge fly so i'm i don't know just like an observation i guess but scrump is on it which is really cute so um yeah i'll be skipping over that lounge fly as well new disney wish lounge fly is now on shop disney i think we've talked about this lounge fly before but if you are not Disney Wish, sorry. It was the Disney Cruise Line 25th anniversary lounge fly. So if you have been wanting that, it's on Shop Disney now. So you're able to pick that up. I'm skipping over this as well. I know we've talked about it before, but now it's online. The last new Disney Parks lounge fly that we have is this Minnie and Mickey one. Very summer vibes. Um, we have like some... I don't know. This just personally isn't really my personal design choice. It comes to lounge flies and you guys already know like I have to be extra picky with my lounge flies. Um, we saw that lounge fly collection video and I have way too many so I am not trying to buy any more unless so I like desperately need it and this one is an easy pass for me. So I am skipping over all of these lounge flies. Let's get into that stitch collection like I was saying. There is so, so much stitch and it's interesting because you would think they would come out with a bunch of stitch merch for 626 day but that's not until June and we already have so much merch in December. There's a new stitch pair of ears and it's like an all over print with stitch and then in the center you have stitch and then you have these Hawaiian flowers. I think these are pretty cute. I personally do not need these um, and do not care to have these. But now that I think about it, there's always stitch merch but there's never any stitch ears. So for the stitch girlies, like this is a good chance for you to buy some ears with stitch because I don't think I've ever seen a pair of stitch ears that weren't like the headbands if you know what i'm talking about i personally do not need this um i think the bow is so freaking cute with the like the hawaiian flowers like the plumerias like that is it plumerias no i think plumerias are a different one just wish the ears didn't have stitch on them like i wish it was maybe like a blue sequined oh my god if it was a blue sequin i probably would have bought them to be completely honest with that little bow and I don't think I mind Stitch being in the middle. I probably would have removed him. Here's how I would redesign this. Sequined ears with that same bow, stunning, and then make the Stitch pendant in the middle just a tiny bit smaller. You would have got me. You really would have got me with that, but they didn't do that, so I'm saving my money, period. We have a new backpack. We have a new crossbody, a new tote bag, some new Crocs. Those Crocs are horrendous. I'm so sorry. They, those are not, not the vibe. It's just like the stitch head all over the place. Like I think if it stitches full body, it's a little bit cuter than just his head on merch. That's my personal preference. So skipping over all of these, I think from this picture alone, the crossbody is the cutest item. Everything else, it's a pass. I don't know. I would never use any of this stuff. But overall, I think you guys can guess. I'm going to skip over this entire stitch collection. Next, we have like a little matching set. And I think the matching set is pretty cute because it doesn't scream stitch. It's just like the stitch color scheme. If you look really closely, you'll see stitch. I'm not sure what these white lines are. I'm a little confused by that because the shorts don't have it. So I don't understand that. I think that's a vibe. I personally would not wear this outfit, but I could see someone pulling it off and making it look cool. This new stitch sweater is actually one of the worst designs I've ever seen. I, it just doesn't, I don't know. I don't like this. I feel like a stitch sweater could be so cute, but just something about this one. I just not into it at all. Just like everything else. It's just like, like just like basic stitch stuff that I feel like we see all the time. So that's why I'm like kind of over it. It's just like stitches face plastered on everything. Truly. Like I feel like there's no, I don't know. I feel like there's not a much, as much thought being put into the stitch merch. I personally feel like the stitch stuff is always just something that they're pushing because people love stitch and people will buy it no matter what. And I feel like there's not much thought that goes into their collections most times. Um, some of these items are cute. Like I said, like that crossbody is kind of cute. But for the most part, I think it's not... It's not a very cute collection. I would pass. Okay, they need to make angel merch, okay? If you want the girlies to buy it, get some angel merch, some more cute pink girly angel merch. You sold me. Okay, I'll buy the little alien merch. Next, we have these new ears, which are from the Disney Cruise Line, and I believe this is from... 
the Disney Alaska Cruise and these are so freaking cute because there's earmuffs attached you guys and they're like fuzzy I love the shade of blue like the darker like the super dark navy blue that it almost looks black I love that the bow is really cute because it's like Christmassy themed and it has like the little logo of the cruise line like these are so cute and if I was going on a Disney cruise to Alaska I would a thousand percent buy these these are so adorable and probably one of my favorite pairs of ears that they've done in such a long time like these are so cute and the earmuffs they should have done like a Christmas pair for like the parks I feel like that would have done really well like a pink pair of course that was what I would say is get a pink pair but that would be so cute like a pink Christmas pair Disney please do it next year even a white pair would have been really cute um but yeah I do love this for the Alaska cruise like that's like the perfect souvenir to get from your trip we have these interesting looking Disneyland fleece spirit jerseys <laughs> you already know what I'm thinking I am sure you already do this is like not it first of all there are so many colors happening and I like a little bit of color but not the whole freaking rainbow on everything okay that's just not my vibe the fact that it's like half fuzzy half not fuzzy i think that's so strange like i think the whole thing should be fuzzy or it should just not be fuzzy at all i don't like the whole half situation happening pastel colors is a vibe if it just was like a completely different design like i think there could have been a way to do this like this color scheme in a really cute way but it just like the half fuzzy i feel like is really messing me up we have like a bright coral castle which doesn't match the pastel vibe of the rest of the spirit jersey i don't know i don't know what's happening here and I don't know who approved it. And the front also has the castle. So it's really the front of the castle and on your back, it's the back of the castle. Like, please, no. And it's $80. <laughs> okay, no thank you, absolutely not. There's another one, which this one is black and gray, which I'm more into this vibe. But it's the same situation. It's literally front of the castle, back of the castle, half fuzzy, half not fuzzy. I don't know what is going on. For some reason, this one is $99. I don't know if that's a typo, but one of them is 80 and the other one's 100. So I feel like that might be a typo. But if it's not, like that's literally insane. Like why is that black one? so much more expensive like twenty dollars more expensive like that's a while oh okay wait 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 the colorful one now i understand the colorful one is a kid's one so i'm not sure if they made it for adults or if it's only for kids but that's why it's eighty dollars so it's cheaper a hundred dollars for a spirit jersey absolutely freaking not next we have some new retro items it's like mini on astro orbiter which is a ride at Disneyland. This is from Disney World, but it has Minnie and she's on the ride. And honestly, I think the design is pretty cute. I don't mind it. I personally wouldn't buy it. It is cute. The back says Walt Disney World. So it's kind of giving spirit jersey, but it's not a spirit jersey. Um, but yeah, I think she looks really cute. Like I wouldn't be mad if someone was wearing this. Like I'd be like, okay, that's a vibe. It's not my vibe per se, but I do think it's a cute little pullover and then we also have mickey on astro orbiter but he's on a hoodie so it's like a little bit different i kind of think the crew ooh, which one's cuter you guys i kind of think the hoodie's a little bit cuter i don't know i think maybe there's a lot of empty space on the other one which is why i'm like drawn a little bit more to the hoodie i can't decide but they're honestly both cute i could see that being like a really cute um sweater sweatshirt that like you and your partner get if you guys are on a disney trip be cute to like match um but like not exactly match if that makes sense so one has mini one has mickey i don't know i think it's a cute vibe i personally don't think i would buy it i think it's the colors of the astro orbiter um which is why i don't really like it but I think the design is cute and probably one of the best items that we've seen so far in this video so i'm not mad at it mad at it i think it's fine i just don't think i will be purchasing those two items are part of like their disney icons collection i don't know so we have a couple of things i feel like disney does this every year where they have like a retro themed collection which is 
kind of fun to see what they end up doing. Most of the time it's not really my vibe because it's always super colorful and it's like very 70s-esque, which is why it's so colorful. You can go through it. So we have these two plushies, Mickey and Minnie. Honestly, I think the plushies are really cute and I like that they're like in this vintage-y styled outfit. So I think it's really cute. Not really for me. I definitely don't need more plushies, so I'll be skipping over those. There is also a hoodie. I can't tell if it's a zip up. Or, yeah, it is a zip hoodie. Um, on the back it says Play in the Park and it has Mickey, Minnie, Donald, Daisy, Goofy, and Pluto. Um, but yeah, it's just not really my personal design choice. So I'll be skipping over that as well, but I don't think it's like terrible. Like I think it's a cute item it's just not really my style there's also a magic band which very retro it says disneyland it says downtown disney it's kind of cute i personally wouldn't buy this again i barely use the magic band i have i actually never use it so <laughs> i definitely don't need more this like matching t-shirt and short set i think this is cute i personally wouldn't wear it i do love the shade of blue though if the design was different like i don't like this huge design that's happening on the shirt the shorts itself are cute but the shirt, not really my vibe. It's also for a baby, so I can't wear it. I have a spirit jersey, and my goodness, this is the brightest spirit jersey I've ever seen. It's a bright yellow. It says Disneyland Resort. You have the hat. There's also a Disney World version. Uh, so many colors. The icons, like, I just... No. No, 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 no. We're gonna skip over that, okay? Actually, a pair of ears in this collection, and the ears, I think, are the best thing that's created in this collection, besides, like, the crew neck and the hoodie that we saw. I personally don't need these. I never really like the icon ears. Like I said, I feel like they kind of do a style like this every single year, and I'm just never really into it. I will say that bow is really freaking cute with a little Mickey hat in the middle. Um, I do really love that. I just don't really love the ears itself. It's over this but i don't think they're bad and i think that if you are into the design i think it's i think it's cute it's just not really for me i'll be skipping over that some other things like this um crew neck this blue crew neck no no like there's just so much happening and honestly disney if you are watching this by any chance less is more okay the girlies want less something simple not doing too much like all of the extraness on the designs it's too much it's too much and i just i personally cannot wear this so there is a pink tee you guys know i love pink it's a pink tee it says play in the park disneyland it's cute but i don't like the design itself like the shade of pink is perfect so we were off to a good start and then we added the design and we ruined it completely so now i'm not gonna buy it so we're skipping over everything next we have a new winnie the pooh collection and i think out of all the collections we've seen today this is probably the best collection first of all we have these t-shirts now if you are a vintage Disney t-shirt collector and you love hunting down vintage tees, then you know that these vintage Winnie the Pooh tees that just has like a huge character's face on the front and the back it says their name has been sold for so much money. Like people are charging like $200 for a t-shirt. Couldn't be me. I'm not buying it. But Jokes on everyone that bought those, all those vintage ones, because Disney re-released them. Is the quality probably worse? 99%. I'm sure it's worse. Because just like the vintage tees, they have this like vintage quality to them where, I don't know, like I think in general fashion, any sort of clothing, like we have found ways throughout the years to make things cheaper and qu the quality is cheaper and they still charge the same amount in the stores um but they just like don't sell high quality things you see this in stores all the time anyways all that to say the vintage t-shirts definitely feel probably feel way better than these do but if you just wanted like the vibe of those shirts then i think this is the way to go obsessed i'm literally obsessed so the first one that we have is winnie the pooh and it's literally just winnie the pooh see this is what i mean less is more yes it's a huge winnie the pooh face okay and you're probably like oh my god that's so much but it's only winnie the pooh's face like it's not the entire hundred acre wood all over the place. You know what I'm saying? Super freaking cute. Um, it's just white with Winnie the Pooh's face and on the back it says Winnie the Pooh or it just says Pooh and it has little bumblebees. 
so freaking cute next we have eeyore and i love that his t-shirt is gray i think this is so cute um you obviously have eeyore's face and she looks really sad but on the back it says eeyore and it's like in this really a uh, pretty almost looks like it's purple kind of color which i love and it has like a little rain cloud then we have a tigger t-shirt which the tigger i did not see on shop disney i've only seen three out of four of them but the tigger tee is just white it has tigger on it and the back it says t-i-double-g-er have like a bunch of paw prints which i feel like the paw prints kind of ruins it for me like it's a little bit too much like it makes sense because all he does is like bounce around all day but like i i don't know i'm just not really into that so i uh personally think the tigger one is my least favorite one and then the last one that we have is this really cute piglet one because it's pink and on the back it says piglet now I did buy it. I, don't, I bought the pink one, I bought the Eeyore one, and I bought the Winnie the Pooh one. The Winnie the Pooh one though, they only had one size available, so I'm not really sure. I'm pretty, I feel like it just sold out really fast. I bought three out of four of them, and I can't wait for them to come in, and I will do like a review, try them all on, kind of let you know what I think about the quality and stuff. Uh, my favorite ones are definitely the Eeyore and the Piglet one. I just bought the Winnie the Pooh because I was like, okay. It's selling out, first of all. Second of all, it's classic. Like, it's Winnie the Pooh, so I feel like you have to get Winnie the Pooh. Um, his color scheme, just like he isn't my favorite, you know? Definitely my favorite items in today's video. Moving on, we also have a Winnie the Pooh and Tigger cropped sweatshirt. I think this design is cute. I don't like that it's cropped, so I would skip over it. Looks like it's embroidered, so I think that's really cute, but... Yeah, it just looks cropped and kind of boxy and I don't know. I don't need this, so I will I'm skipping over that. So we have some new bubble bar items that are sold in the parks. So we have these like flower dangle earrings and you have Piglet, Tigger, Roo, Winnie the Pooh, Rabbit and Eeyore and they just look so cute. I personally don't really wear dangle earrings So I would skip over these but I think they're a really cute design because some of them have like rhinestones and like pearls and stuff So that's really cute. I will say if I'm looking at Rue's ears, they look like it looks like he has an illness Honestly, like what is happening? Why don't they just put rhinestones in his ears? What is up with these like? <laughs> warts i don't know a winnie the pooh pair of earrings and he's like holding these like honey pots i think these are really cute once again i'm not really a big fan of dangle earrings so skipping over that also he's doing the splits like okay dancing queen also have a pair of eeyore earrings and tigger earrings once again dangly um i think that your ones are really cute because of the rhinestones um but i'll be skipping over those as well last but not least we have a winnie the pooh rhinestone um necklace and he's also holding a honey pot i think that's really cute um but i definitely do not need it so i'll be skipping over that as well i have these like vintage looking crew necks um uh, so we have a tigger one that's in blue we have poo that's in green purple one for eeyore and a kind of like a mauve color for piglet honestly these sweaters remind me of something that box lunch has designed before i don't know if you guys know what i'm talking about or if i like made that up but i just feel like i would find this kind of sweatshirt at box lunch um so i don't know I, it's not really my style like personally like the varsity lines are not really my thing i think the sweatshirt would have been cute without those like stripes for some reason i really love the green one like i think the green is super cute for winnie the pooh I just don't like the stripes so skipping over that i feel like they did a pretty good job with like the simplicity of like the logo I have these like cross body bags which is just their head you have eeyore's head and you have Pooh's head i think those are the only two characters you can find i'm not a huge fan of like the head crossbodies like plush crossbodies i think they're cute and some people make it look extra cute but i personally just don't really need them so i'll be skipping over both of those but i do think that they're cute i think Pooh is cuter than eeyore personally not bad just like not really my thing we also have a new pair of winnie the pooh crocs which has like a fuzzy poo 
on the center um these colors just aren't for me and i'm not into it so i'll be skipping over those another thing we have is a new winnie the pooh bumblebee plush and this is so freaking cute like this is like the cutest little pooh plush i've ever seen he's so freaking cute um i personally do not need him but i do think he's so freaking adorable and I love him. Like, he's so cute. <laughs> I think the 90s vibe of this entire collection was really well done. Like, the crew necks, the t-shirts. Like, I think overall, they did a really good job with this collection. So whoever designed this one, you popped off. You really did. I think I bought were the t-shirts, but I do think they have a lot of cute things in this collection. So we have a new new emos. This is the Tinkerbell new emos. She's available on Shop Disney. I think she's super cute. I don't think I need her. Maybe I'll get it later. Um, I still need to collect my princess ones. Like I completely fell off of collecting those. So I definitely need to do that. But I think she's a really cute new emo. So if you want a new emos, you want Tink. This is adorable. I forgot to mention, part of the Park Icons collection, we have this lounge fly, um, which once again, it's like this blue color with all of the icons, like all the characters on different rides, which is cute. But I personally just, I'm going to skip over it completely, but I forgot to mention it. So I thought I would mention it. There's a lounge fly backpack and there's also a matching wallet. This Lily Pulitzer collection. I personally am just not a Lily Pulitzer fan in general. Like never gravitated to their stuff. Like it's very rare. I think one time I was like maybe a couple years ago they did like a water bottle or like a tumbler kind of style cup and I was like super into it but I didn't buy it. So I think that's like the only time they've like sold me on something like half sold me on something. This is... <laughs> This is not it. it. I'm definitely not their target audience. When they created this, they were not thinking about me at all. I have this print. Let's just talk about this print. It's Mickey with like a castle and Minnie and there's like flowers and palm trees and like Hawaiian flowers and there's kind of a lot going on. Um, you have like orange, pink, green, blue, like just so many colors in general. And honestly, the collection is like kind of blinding to my eyes because there's just so much happening. I'm just like oh my god how do you even style this and make it look cute i don't i can't even tell you we have so many things we have hats we have tote bags we have jackets we have shorts we have dresses multiple styles of dresses um we have another crossbody <laughs> um we have swimsuits and leggings workout sets i don't know there is just so much happening this is probably the worst collection i've ever seen in a while from disney um and i'm not here for it i'm sure there's an audience out there for it i'm sure it's gonna do well but it's not gonna do well because of me i'll tell you that right now the very last collection that we're gonna talk about today is this new 2024 collection and i personally never ever like the yearly collections that they do every single year Disney comes out with a collection that is like for the new year, like a 2022 collection, 2023, 2024. Like they do one for every single year and it's always so bad. Like every single time. I think the only time I've ever liked something were like the 2020 years and I've sold them because I just don't love them that much. Um, but this is like really freaking bad, you guys. Like I, <laughs> I don't know. Let's start with these ears. We have like so many colors okay i think we've actually have talked about these ears no these are immediately no skipping honestly this entire collection is immediately no so let's just start there so have a hat i'm sorry who's i'm not wearing this hat it's not bad i think probably the hat is probably the best thing in this collection but yeah, it's a no for me bucket hat which is actually the worst looking bucket hat i've ever seen in my entire life it is like this bright blue but it's not even a pretty blue like <laughs> I don't know. I don't know how you mess up blue, but they messed up blue, okay? It's reversible, okay? Don't worry, guys. It's reversible, and it's, like, hot pink and bright yellow and bright blue, and it just has 2024 written all over it with some Mickeys. Why? I don't know. We have, like, a tie-dye sweatshirt. Here we go with Disney with a tie-dye. I don't know what it is, but they love it, and they do it all the time. I think every single month we've seen, like, at least some sort of tie-dye piece of clothing. No. No, 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 no. It's like black, gray, tie-dye. It says 2024. It has mini on it. And the colors are just so bright. Like, it's like yellow and 
turquoise and hot pink and no. This t-shirt, which is actually worse than the tie-dye, and I never thought anything could be worse than Disney's tie-dye stuff. It's just a white t-shirt with 2024 everywhere. We have some different icons, like princess icons. We have sort of Mickey hats. Um, we have the orange bird. It's just a lot. Like, a lot is happening. Uh, the best thing they did is this gray zip-up. Okay, so if you're going to buy anything from this collection, get this gray zip-up. It's plain gray. looks just like what I'm wearing right now. And then it says 2024 in the corner. Period. It doesn't show what the back looks like, so I'm kind of scared to see what that looks like. Um, but just from the front, that's a vibe. Also have Zootopia just opened in... Shanghai um I'm pretty sure it opened yeah I think it just opened and so there is a new pair of Zootopia ears or a gazelle from Zootopia I am not wearing this on my head <laughs> like there are these huge antlers and they're sparkly and then we have like the ears on the side and then we have like a half sparkle on the headband itself and there's like ombre happening this is a no and it kind of looks like there's feathers as well i don't i don't know um yeah this is not for me i would never wear these so if you look at the back it's literally like a patch of hair that is glued to the back of these ears now i know that there's gonna be a girly on my feed wearing these and she's gonna make this look like the cutest pair of ears i've ever seen in my entire life I personally couldn't make it look like that, um, and I just am not going to be buying these. <laughs> that is it for today's video um, and our last purchaser pass of the year. You guys, I can't believe this year flew by like so fast. If you guys enjoyed it, make sure you guys like and subscribe so you don't miss any more purchaser passes and you don't miss another day of Vlogmas. Um, I love you guys so much, and I will see you guys tomorrow for another video. Bye, guys.